look, don't get me wrong. I'm just as much fan of death and destruction as the next. Oh my word. You're right then. That went straight through his face. This is Blight, a new survival upcoming game. And it's a little bit of an interesting one. It kind of came out of nowhere. When I say came out of nowhere, I mean the trailer came out of nowhere. Goddamn IGN, give, give us more. This seems to be a new interesting four player co-op action horror game, but set within the medieval universe. It's given me some hints towards something like a Plague Tale Requiem, that almost fantastical world, but set within the grounded medieval universe. Yet yeah, instead of rats, it's it, zombies and plagues. You might think that this is probably to do with the Great Plague, but actually it's not exactly. I, I guess it's somewhat inspired, but there is a massive emphasis on death, destruction and complete gore. As you can see, they have masterfully worked in this beautiful atmosphere. Going through this medieval world of what I would assume would be Europe, but it's not the Europe that we once knew. Not filled with colours and beautiful tapestries. This is a grim aftermath of a desperate plague that spread through the medieval world. Now, Blight Survival, as it is called, is set within an alternate 14th century. It is kind of unlike anything we've seen before. When it comes to medieval historical games, you kind of have one of two options. You either go the super historical point of view, a, a kingdom come deliverance, or even like a Maud How, taking it quite seriously to be within the medieval world, or you go complete fantastical, a Gloria Victus, if you will. Well, mate, he nearly fucking stood on that! Fucking hell! Look at that! Ah! Oh, that's minging! Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? But Blight Survival really seems to be going a mix in between, not only adding in brutal hardcore combat, but also stealth sections and, well, as you can see, being able to go prone and sneak through mud. Not entirely sure how comfortable that would be in heavy plate armour, but hey ho, it is what it is. When I see a medieval game, I need it, inject it into my veins. And this is no different. And what's even better, it's being created on Unreal Engine 5. So you know this is going to look beautiful. There is nothing like a brutal assassination kill. Trying to stay down low so you're able to complete these missions and move through this world without drawing too much attention to yourself. Able to collect minerals and resources with different levels of rarity that can be sold later on down the line. Now I didn't mention that this is a co-op game. Yeah, you wouldn't get it from this trailer, but Blight Survival is supposed to be a four-player action horror roguelike, set in the unforgiving no-man's land between two desperate states at a ceaseless war. Wow, that looks somewhat painful. And to be fair, for a complete new game, archery is often hard to get right. Look like they're doing a good job. So this must be our other friend, perhaps commanded by bots when you're a very lonely man like me, but if you have other people, they could be helping you along the way. As the nations bleed, chastened and paralyzed by war, they call upon you and your king with offerings of coin. Being the only ones willing and capable, you've been tasked to venture and raise the all-consuming blight. This blight has sprung up from the remains of the dead. It's strengthened by the blood that has been spilled and it rapidly spreads, turning man into monster. I think you pronounced zombies wrong, guys. Seriously. A medieval zombie game? Okay, you, you, you're dragging me in here. You're dragging me in. Okay, we get it. Blight's going to be an interesting one, and it's a little bit strange for me. You see, when a game is released like this, or at least a gameplay trailer, and don't get me wrong, this definitely looks like gameplay. I've always the hair on the back of my neck seems to move a little, because you can't always believe exactly what you see from the face. Not only could this be pre-rendered, 
It doesn't look like it is, but there's still possibilities. But also, it's most likely just one mission from a massive open game that has been finished. The rest is still very much up in the air. Why am I being overly cautious? Well, Henir Studio, who are working on this, this is their first project. They seem to have come out complete nowhere, and well, it looks almost too good to be true. However, I will come to the defense of them, as this game has been in development over on Reddit. On the Unreal Engine Reddit page, they have been posting a slight works in progress. Even as late as seven, eight, nine months ago, up to a year ago was the first visual benchmark that we saw of this title. So it looks like it's come out of nowhere but Haneer Studios seems to have been working on it for quite some time. They've even answered some questions that have been asked upon their Reddit. For example, one asking Hunt Showdown. I love Hunt styles of multiplayer. Is it really every man for himself kind of feeling? Haneer Studio replied saying, well, in our case, you do play co-op unless you choose to solo and focus more on PVE than PVP player. Going on to say it's one to four players. We did get this idea from the trailer that this is definitely a PVE experience more than anything. And it doesn't look like there will be any sort of PVP sorts or at least in not the main game mode. The studio have mentioned that they've been working in the industry as gameplay and technical animators for quite some time. This is a game that's been worked on in their free time and doesn't have that budget for them to go full time at this moment. They don't have a publisher. This is a full indie title by definition of the word and there's no outsourcing. This has been done by just two people. This is something incredible. We've seen this more and more with games like Manor Lords popping up that is done by such tiny teams, if not individuals. And a title that looks as polished and pristine as this done by just a duo is another level. There will be a door bashing down system being able to breach and clear houses, which has been shown on the Reddit already. And have stated that now is the moment where they're looking for a publisher more than anything. There is very little information about Bly. They have a Steam page that you can wishlist the game, I guess, if you so want to, with a few screenshots and the gameplay that I have already shown you. Along with that, the original teaser trailer that was released a year ago now, but that's about it. I'm definitely going to be following this every step of the way, as every time something like this is revealed or comes out, it's a really interesting piece to at least study how such small teams with very little budgets, if any budget at all, can create something so gorgeous. And honestly, it's down to Epic. You might be saying that that is sacrilege, but I have used Unreal Engine 5 myself. It is so well made that you don't even need to know how to code now to make something that looks this good. If you know how to make models and the basics of game mechanics, you can make a title that looks like Blight Survival. And my god, there is a massive future for this game. But I guess we're just going to have to find out in the years to come.